we can like show the brand, <laughs> but it rhymes with burritos. So <laughs> you know. <laughs> Hi. Uh, why don't you tell us your name and what do you do here at the Academic Success Center? So hi everybody and hi Kim. Uh, my name is Stephanie and I am the Supplemental Instruction Coordinator or SI Coordinator and I've been at the ASC for about two and a half years. So what does an SI do specifically? Sure. So there's students who have taken what RIT considers a historically difficult course which usually means it's got a high D or F course grade or a high withdrawal rate for the course. So these students have taken the class and they earned a B or higher and then they sit through the class again and then they take notes and content and post two study sessions per week for the students in their section in an effort to help the students understand the content and do well in the class. It's a little bit emotional support, but it's also a review of the course content, but they also try to make it fun. So ideally there's some community that forms between the students and the SI leader. And they also do not teach. They don't re-lecture anything like that. They uh, require students to work together. So sometimes there's some awkward, uh, quiet times until students get the idea of how the session works. But I think it's for the best because then they're understanding why they're learning and how to learn. My first group uh, project that I did, uh, nobody gave direct eye contact <laughs> for the first two. So direct eye contact, yeah. it's, it's, it's good. It's an icebreaker. You could comment on their irises or something, you know? If you were on a desert island and you could only bring five books with you. Five books, yeah, okay. What five books? Oh, well, that's a hard question. Okay, I would bring I was just talking about this with a friend, but I just um, read a memoir about a Vietnam veteran nurse and women weren't always, um, I guess, recognized for their efforts in the Vietnam War, so it's a really good memoir. It's called Home Before Morning. When Breath Becomes Air, I think I already shared that with the ASC. That was a really good memoir. You see, I like memoirs. I would also bring The Namesake by Jhumpa Lahiri. That's a really good book that I read in college. I could read that again. I mean, if I brought Harry Potter, could I have the whole set and series? I'll allow it. I read a book once. I don't know if it's even in print anymore, but it's called The Junk Drawer Corner Store Front Porch Blues. Okay. Right? It's the longest title ever. Yeah. But it was one of those books that had me laughing out loud, but also crying at the same time. So that was a really good book. Yeah. If you can find it, I recommend it. For me, personally, the five books I would bring is Wilderness Survival. Oh, that would have been a smart yeah. idea. You're a fool. You. <laughs> I'm going to be eating the fauna and <laughs> knowing how to make a hut, but I'll let start you a fire. Yeah, start a fire, exactly. And then um, I think I would do a Dwight Shrew and do the Harry Potter book, but inside the book is uh, Waterproof Matches. Oh. And like a water purifier. You didn't tell me I had these abilities though. See, like, <laughs> you limit yourself. But I think the memoirs are good. Yeah. Read more books, kids. What is a favorite hobby of yours? I like anything crafty. I like pottery making. I haven't done it in a few years, but hold on. Because I did make these things. Oh. And Julie and I were just talking about how much we love artsy stuff and especially pottery, so... You threw um, this on the wheel? Yes. Um, but I should do another class at some point. Yeah. Sometimes I just tend to go buy other people's things. I have more at home that I'm too nervous to bring here in case it breaks yeah. or someone steals it. You know, like... Office theft. I wouldn't steal. <laughs> Everyone would know I stole this. I wouldn't be able to pass it as my own work. <laughs> They'd be like, clearly, Kim, this was manufactured and made by a fine artist. I did not make this one, but look at how giant my goblet of coffee wow. is, right? I like coffee a lot, so that's another hobby of yeah. mine, drinking coffee. And then I pay for my refill, and I get like a ton of coffee in here. So that's good. That, yeah. That's how you cheat the, si <laughs> cheat the system. I asked. I asked them down oh, there okay. and they said it was allowed. So follow the rules. Follow the rules. <laughs> but now you know if you bring a nice big ceramic mug <laughs> or maybe a vase, they will refill it for you. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Like the Greeks. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at this for a minute. Do you see anything mm -hmm. unique about that? Okay. Um,. Oh god. So, do you need me to explain? Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> so I'm on the end. Okay. And my students took my face and put it on every single other face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rocky, zoom in on this. I'm as zoomed as I can be. <laughs> it was the oh. April's, April's. Oh, I see it now. <laughs> and so that's actually me on the end, on the far right over yeah. there. But my face has been photoed or. <laughs> Copy paste. Copy. Deep fake. <laughs> <laughs> so from afar, people think it's a lovely stamp photo, but it's actually just just your face just on me. every single one. Wow, yes. I love that. Come, come to Stephanie's cubicle to see a deep fake. <laughs>